Hi everybody, it's me, Sim Danelle, and today we are going to be talking about this VIX behind the ear thermometer that I got from Cloud. And we are going to do first impressions and see how it works, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, you can see already this package is completely mangled, and I will share with you why. Right back here, you might be able to see that it says easy open, press here. But I pushed on the plastic and I pushed in that spot and nothing happened. Not only did the package not open, it didn't budge. Nothing happened to the plastic whatsoever. So I had to get out the tried and true way of opening the most obnoxious plastic clamshell packages, which is scissors. So that's why it's so disgustingly mangled right now because I had to chop it up and a chainsaw probably would have worked better. So for the easy packaging, this product already gets a big thumbs down. Now, once I was able to get it out, here's what we've got. And this part of the packaging gives us a little information. Designed for the entire family, behind the ear gentle touch thermometer with professional accuracy. One second instant reading. Just a touch, not a swipe. And it works behind the ear. That's nice. And it comes with Fever Insight, which is the part I really like from this packaging. It lights up green for okay, yellow for mild fever, and then red for high fever. So that is really handy, especially for anyone who has been trying to take a temperature of a sick baby in a dark nursery. It's not so easy. Whatever you can do fast to get an accurate reading is good. So let's take it out. Once I got it out of there, there was a little plastic piece that said remove that was in the battery compartment. And another bad thing I'll tell you, I pulled it out and I tried to start it and it did not work. So it wasn't working. I had to open the battery compartment right here. And then once I did, it turns out that when I had pulled out the remove piece of plastic, it had dislodged the battery, which was no longer connected. So the product wasn't working. So if you didn't know to do that, you might think that your product is defective. So that's an instant downer. But now we can see that the power is on and there is a display. This is the power button right here, this white one. And let's try it on me. Let's get an instant temperature reading on me. My temperature is 99, but why isn't it a color? Well, I guess I might have to read the directions on this because it's not turning color like it says it will on the package. So let's see here, quick reference guide. Behind ear, press power button. Wait button. Power. Wait for OK. It says OK with a picture of an ear. Position behind the ear on skin. That is what I did. Press button. Wait for beep. Release. 99. Button must be pushed all the way. Well, so even here, it's not telling me I have to do anything to make it have the color. Maybe I did it wrong. Let's try it again. Push the button in all the way. 99, but it's gray. Okay, now we have to bust out the manual. This is starting to make me upset. All right, let's look at this again. The Fever Insight says green is okay, yellow is mild, and Red is high. Why can't we make ours do this? Let's try it again. Maybe mine is defective. Okay, power on. Okay, there. It finally lit up green. Only for a second, though. So, I'm not that happy about that. It might look better in the dark. Let's turn out the lights and see. Now we're here in the dark. Okay, that's yellow, but that's so... Now that looks green, okay? Wait for the countdown, wait. Four, three, two, one. Okay. It's yellow, but you can barely see that. You can barely see that, that's not helpful. Let's turn the lights back on. I like the idea of that. 
if that actually worked. Now I haven't seen it go on the red, but I'm not assuming that the red is going to be that much brighter than the green or the yellow were. It's very hard to see that. I can't see that being a feature that is any kind of helpful in the light or the dark. <laughs> so too bad because it's a great idea. They need to work on putting a little extra brightness in there, I think. If you're just looking for something that takes temperature relatively fast behind the ear, then this is an okay thermometer. But if you're really counting on that feature where the color coding shows up on the display, then I would say pass and find a different thermometer because it really doesn't work very well. That's my review of the VIX Behind Ear Gentle Touch Thermometer for Babies with Fever Insight. And if you liked my review, make sure that you subscribe below. I'm Sim Danelle. I'll see you next time.